Hello, my name is Dante Renee, and welcome to the Ten Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, 1974's Die Sex Spelunk von Bangkok. Loosely translated, The Sex Spunk of Bangkok. This is by Erwin C. Dietrich. Um, here is the poster image for it right here. I can't really show much, but there it is, just like that. And this is part of the Sex in Bangkok double feature by Erwin C. Dietrich. I've already reviewed uh, the first film. Um, Hot Sex in Bangkok, also from 1974, uh, from Erwin C. Dietrich. Erwin C. Dietrich, a producer of uh, a good group of Jess Franco films, but also a director in his own right um, of many erotic films, uh, some uh, hardcore, uh, but I would believe mostly softcore, and also the uh, author of the Six Swedes films. So let's get into the sex spunk of Bangkok. Now this was actually done in 1974, the same year as uh, the other film in this uh, series, which is two films, double feature, it says right there, and the Erwin C. Dietrich region-free German uh, Blu-ray collection here I got from DiabolicDVD.com for like probably $27, $28, something like that. This is very, very rare and beautiful transfers beautiful transfers but this is a double feature and this is the second film here and they were both made in the same year it seems um or you know and or released in the same year 1974 now this film really exists uh in its own world uh, apart from the first film hot sex in bangkok um while we do have some of the same cast uh, members, some of the same actors, some of the same actresses. Um, it's as if the first movie really didn't exist. Um, some of the roles, some of the, 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 the storyline of Hot Sex in Bangkok does not exist in this um, other Erwin C. Dietrich Bangkok film, um, The Sex Spunk of Bangkok. What a crazy title. What a, what a wild, wild title. And what we have here is we do have a group of guys who are flying out of Bangkok after they've had some fun there. Some of these guys are from Hot Sex in Bangkok, and some of them seem new. Um, and while they're on this flight, this awesomely retro 70s flight, I mean, you can just look around at the chairs and the, and the upholstery and, and the carpeting. While they're on this flight, they're they're recounting their time in Bangkok and also, uh, as the latter portion of the film happens, fantasizing about their time in Bangkok and also what is currently happening on the plane also. So it's kind of this these these worlds together. What this film is really a prime example of how erotic, hot, uh, beautiful, artistic, um, wild, energetic, and just how awesome in general a softcore sexploitation movie can be. Now, this is, I really, this is definitely um, one of my favorite Erwin C. Dietrich films uh, so far, and it is such um, just a softcore uh, sexploitation um, powerhouse to me, a masterpiece to me. Um, so let's get into this film here, and uh, we got a lot to talk about. First and foremost, um, let's let's look at the let's listen and look at the music. Walter Baumgartner, again, man, this guy's unbelievable. Walter Baumgartner, of course, has done a ton of Erwin C. Dietrich soundtracks and also some Jess Franco films as well. His music in here is unbelievable. I believe there might be a tiny bit that was in the other Bangkok film, Hot Sex in Bangkok, but for the most part, we have unique pieces of, of complex and, and, and really, um, really just powerfully seductive and interesting, interestingly complex pieces of music here. We have kind of um, like a... 
we got jazz mixing with um, Asian music. Um, we have jazz with awesome bass lines. Jazz with mystical music box themes. Um, uh, these awesome bass lines. Electric guitar, whistles, flutes, violins. Um, the, the jazz, uh, the, the, the saxophones are, 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 are right in your face and, and beautifully clear and 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 sultry and and smoky um and that music box uh through the jazz music is really really unique i've never heard anything like that before and we also have um as I stated, some mystical Asian type music also. Um, this film has tons of music and we even have some awesome sitar music uh, that uh, definitely in the latter portion of the film. Um, so there's tons of music in this movie, wall to wall music in this movie. When we look at the style of this movie, whew, oh my gosh, we have some really, really seductive style in here. Um, the camera is moving elegantly around the room as as obstructions go right in front of the camera these obstructions and we also have a lot of usage of seductive and dreamlike slow motion in this film especially uh, in the latter portion of the film and with sitar music freaking amazing um uh, red colors and lighting, um, white shaggy carpet that reminds me of Franco's films that Dietrich produced, like uh, Girls in the Midnight Trap, Girls in the Night Traffic, and and White Skin on Black Thighs. You can check out my reviews for those films on this YouTube page. Um, <clears throat> We also have some awesome mirror work in this film, um, really kind of showing you uh, the real image and also the, the reflection through the mirrors, and these mirrors are kind of like in these blocks all put together. We also have an amazing title sequence in this film. Um, Hot Sex in Bangkok, the other Bangkok film from Irwin C. Dietrich, also had an awesome title sequence of almost snapshots of the actresses. In this film... The title sequence is silent. It's just moaning. And it's uh, some of the actresses that we're going to be seeing in the film. And it's done so artistically and so powerfully as the credits just kind of pop up on um, the women of the film kind of in ecstasy and their mouths open. Erwin C. Dietrich is really known for, you can check out the other reviews on this page, for just awesome title sequences because there's no ending title sequence at all typically this one they just end sometimes without even a fiend they just end um but the opening title sequences are really powerful they always remind me of the way uh, quentin tarantino today uh does his title sequences they're very powerful they, they 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 bring you in and they show you kind of uh the journey that you're about to take place and this means business and this means artistic and sexual business um and it's and it's great uh, the art and the sex really combine in the, in the title sequence for this film and for many of dietrich's films um we have uh, dancing sequences. We have um, nude posters on the wall, sex sequences, uh, slow motion sequences, um, uh, very uh, kind of uh, explicit sexual dialogue in the film, but not as much as Hot Sex in Bangkok and not as outrageous. Um, we also have, you know, this, this film is very unique in that unlike Hot Sex in Bangkok, this film, um, The Sex Punk of Bangkok, has really no storyline except these guys adventures the real big kind of piece of the story is this one american girl that's on the flight with them um who there's kind of sexual tension between her and one of the other guys um in this group of guys traveling for sex um but it's so enrapturing this film you know the style is actually the substance the sexual style is the substance the artistic sexual style is the substance i was completely enraptured for 72 minutes 72 minutes with no storyline you know filled to the brim with soft core sex and and wild uh strip sequences and 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 sexual dancing it's as if you are just you're just taking the journey with these guys um and a few american girls uh throughout the film too which was very unique even in uh, even a black girl and you're taking the adventures 
uh, with these guys, all of their sexual adventures. Um, and the sexual sequences are really interesting. They're erotic. Um, the girls look great. You're getting full nudity from the, from the men and the women. But I really would say this is a prime example of how softcore can be very, very explicit and interesting and erotic and hot. Um, the sexual sequences in here were very, very well done. And um, they seemed, they had like a hard tone to them, like a hardcore tone to them, but it was all simulated sex. And a couple of times you can see the flaccid penis uh, kind of bouncing up against the butt if you look very care uh, carefully. Um, we do have one dance sequence in this film that is absolutely wild involving real candle wax. Now, Hot Sex in Bangkok, the, the first Bangkok film from Dietrich, had a crazy scene with a cigar. In this one, we have a crazy scene with, with a candle and hot candle wax and a cigar. So mixing that all up together. Some really sexy dance sequences in here. Um, we have some of the girls from the first one, but playing, you know, kind of uh, non-storyline roles. The American girl that's on the plane that has the tension with the guys uh, found her very sexually attractive, uh, you know, uh, uh, curvy, uh, just looked great. And you kind of had this tension with the other characters as the movie went on, like in the uh, sex comedy Screwballs, where you're kind of waiting, will she take her clothes off? Will she be involved with somebody? And you kind of get your comeuppance uh, as the film uh, moves on. Now, we do have a, a, a wild kind of sexual twist ending to the film uh, that is very well played, very well done, and wild. Um, and there, as I said, this is really an example. Now, we do have some hard, uh, harder edges in one of the dance sequences involving the candle wax where we, we get some more gynecological type shots in the film um, and um, some fingers rubbing on the vaginas and things like that, but really nothing inserting, minus possibly something during the candle wax cigar sequence, if you catch my drift. Um, <clears throat> But really, really sexy sequences. You are going to see a lot of penis. Uh, sometimes the penises could even be hard, um, you know, but not really focused on it at all. Um, this is primarily a softcore film, but a softcore film done in a very, very sexy way. Uh, I would say one of the best softcore uh, sexploitation films I've seen, and definitely one of my favorites from Urban C. Dietrich. Um, this one is really, really wild, and we really get dreamlike and, and go into the mind and fantasies. Um, in the latter portion of the film. Um, we have some very exotic women, very exotic dancing. Obviously, you have Asian women, but you also have a, 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 a diverse group of women in this particular Bangkok film. Um, there is a bit of humor, there's a bit of comedy in the sexual shenanigans, and I don't want to forget that in this film, the sex, uh, the sex punk of Bangkok, Eric Falk is in this one. That's correct, folks. Eric Falk is in this one, and he is... Um, doing uh, a, 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 a sex a simulated humping so fast it's ridiculous in a couple scenes. We also have some very sexual things happening with mouths, um, with, with tongues, uh, a shower scene, um, tongue kissing, very, very sexual tongue kissing, and um, very wild humping sequences in this film. And Eric Falk is a maniac. Eric Falk, the stuff that comes out of his mouth, uh, the, the, the fucks, the pussies, there's even a, a cunt, a war word mentioned in the film um and it's it, it's it's great i mean the dialogue is wild and eric falk is is i know a lot of a lot of people who watch this youtube page like eric falk you know that you're, you're gonna love him in here um i've never seen anybody so fast in my entire life of using his uh, biceps he's just a maniac this is the sex spunk of bangkok 1974 by erwin c dietrich thank you so much for watching the 10 Bizarro youtube page please feel free to check out my own personal films by googling apartment 10 14 films. Thank you so much. Check out all the other videos and good night.